So here we are in Yonizawa. Welcome to the processing plant. This is where they decide what is the standard. Is this an A5, A4? What is the grade? We're going to be taking you in this episode from the farm all the way to the table. What makes this the best Wagyu steak in Japan? <laughs> Winter in Yonezawa means snow, a lot of it. But that doesn't slow people down much up here in Japan's northern prefecture, Yamagata. The average temperature in winter is below zero. I drove from the station to the Yonezawa meat processing plant to get a look at how Wagyu beef here was graded to see how they judge the quality through the marbling. Yonezawa is generally considered one of the three most famous beef brands in Japan, with Kobe and Matsuzaka, so they take their branding seriously here. Approximately 3,000 Kuroge Wagyu will be branded as Yonezawa beef annually. It's here at the inspection that the branding is decided. The beef inspectors have to first decide the yield, A, B, or C, decided by the ratio of meat compared to the actual carcass weight. Then the marbling is graded through the BMS, or Beef Marbling Standard Score, from 1 to 12. The BMS score determines the grading score on a scale of 1 to 5. You can see as the marbling or fat gets more intense, the number increases. Better even marbling impacts juiciness, tenderness, flavor, and texture, which leads to an overall eating experience. The highest rank for Japanese Wagyu beef is A5, and only A4 and A5 rank beef will obtain the coveted Yonezawa beef brand. The rest are branded as Yamagata beef, which is still exceptional. A2 is still a pretty good looking cut of steak, leaner. A3 just misses the cut, but you can see it has excellent balance of red akami and fat. The A4 marbling is well balanced. This is my favorite, enough red meat to give it a good chew, mixing with the fat in the mouth. A5 is intense. The marbling is balanced between the red akami meat, making it look pink. So from A2 to A5, can you see the difference? The fat content of Kuroge Wagyu in Japan is said to be different than other beef. The fat, it's lighter, more of an olive oil consistency. There's research showing it's high in monounsaturated fatty acids, omega-3 and 6, which are essential fatty acids, said to lower cholesterol. There does seem to be some legitimate health benefits in that A5 marbling, but I do believe in eating meat in moderation. Wow, look at that marbling sweet. Intense marbling. This was the highest level of marbling I could find on this day. The A5 stamp is Japan's highest rank, and here it gets the Yonezawa Gyu stamp too. The GI or Geographical Indicator Stamp is a certificate from the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries in Japan. Yonezawa beef is registered as a representative beef brand of Japan. There were a lot of A5 ranked Yonezawa gyu today. For Yonezawa area ranchers, that A5 ranking is a big deal. It's rare to buy an entire beef carcass, so the Yonezawa meat processing plant will separate it into sections, which is more useful for distributors. This can be a pretty labor-intensive job using specialized tools and knives. 
cleaning and removing the parts is done with a lot of precision here because they know this is Yonezawa beef, a top brand representing their region. After separation, the beef is put into bags and placed on a clamshell vacuum shrink wrapper. The meat is then dipped in hot water to tighten the wrap around the beef, the ice water freezing that process for a well-protected and preserved block of meat. They're labeled and ready to go to the restaurants or distribution centers. Let's follow the blocks of katarosu or ribrosu, ribeye, to a distribution center. This is the Sato Chikusan Processing Center in Yonezawa, where a variety of beef cuts are packaged for restaurants and consumers around Japan. Each area on the floor processes the cuts of Wagyu beef for a specific way to eat it. This is katarosu, or chuck eye roll, a cut near the neck. These thin slices will be perfect for sukiyaki. This cut of sankakubara, or chuck rib, will make excellent yakiniku. This uchimomo, or top round, has incredibly well-balanced marbling and has a special purpose. Can you guess what they're doing? That's a heart-shaped steak. Don't worry, nothing is wasted. This will be used for yakiniku or another dish. This is Yonezawa sirloin steak. The workers are quite skilled at getting the cuts even. These will be sent to supermarkets and restaurants. This sliced beef is ude or shoulder clod mixed with momoniku or thigh. Any side cuts get sliced into pieces for yakiniku grilling. Large cuts come in like this for processing to the consumer. Large restaurants may have their own meat lockers like this too. Generally, Wagyu is aged for about a month before it gets to the market meat aisle. This is a chunk of rib ross or rib loin. <laughs> the meat is packaged for gifts here, sent to premium supermarkets around Japan. Sato-san runs down some of the history of Yonezawa beef, which makes it different and special to other brands. Yonezawa the Yonezawa brand became famous in 1875 when resident English teacher Charles Henry Dallas ate the local beef and loved it. When his term ended, he bought one as a souvenir for his friends. So 
So what about the prices at the butcher shop and restaurant? They operate a shop and restaurant by Yonezawa Station. This thinly cut momo or top round is for sukiyaki or shabu shabu. These special boneless short rib cuts or tokujo karabi are 1,380 yen for 100 grams or about $12 for a quarter pound. Yonezawa sirloin steak, 1,850 yen for 100 grams or about $16 for a quarter pound. Misuji or brisket steaks are 1,480 yen per 100 grams or about $13 for a quarter pound. These burgers are about $3.50 each. They make only 30 a day. Let me know in the comments what you think of the prices here. This sukiyaki or gyunabe course is 3,700 yen, 120 grams of 85 grated ribeye slices of Yonezawa Wagyu beef. Look at that beautifully marbled, thinly sliced beef. Soy sauce, sugar, and meeting are in that sukiyaki hot pot soup. Sukiyaki is one of the best ways to eat premium Wagyu beef. The fat melting into the salty soy sweet soup of vegetables and tofu. It's eaten with a little raw egg, the meat dipped in it, which adds an incredible richness. She's telling me to put the raw egg in the bowl and mix it. This is the sukiyaki dipping sauce, just a fresh raw egg. The meat cooks pretty fast. Coat it in that raw egg and enjoy. Sukiyaki is maybe the best winter food. Of course, there's shabu shabu, and of course, there's nabe, mono, and there's all these other really delicious soups, but sukiyaki with wagyu, you can't do any better than this. It's true, but with Yonezawa beef in Yonezawa, you can't go wrong no matter how you eat it. Before we head to the farm, where exactly is Yonezawa? It's in the northern part of Japan called Tohoku. Yamagata Prefecture is on the Sea of Japan side, a 75-minute Shinkansen ride from Tokyo Station. Yonezawa is an old castle town where Uesugi Shrine can be visited. You can still feel the Edo era here. Pulling away, you can see why the city has some of the best beef in Japan. The area is fertile, fresh water and air, fair summers, chilly winters. It's a city surrounded by nature. Let's head to the Tanaka Ranch. The snow is still coming down strong. There are 1,250 cattle here. This is where they live, sheltered from the sub-zero temperature and snow. Entering into the cow house, I quickly noticed there isn't much smell, not like what you'd think. Today, it's quiet, just the hum of the fans. You'll see each cow has a 10-digit number which can be traced on the Japan Wagyu database, tracing its family lineage through several generations. Tanaka-san guided me around the cow house. This heifer is nearing her 32-month mark. Here's a baby warmed by heat lamps. The calves are super cute and super curious when visitors come. You won't find its mom far away. Wagyu cows are shy. They lead stress-free lives here. I came to learn that they also love to be groomed and even cheek massaged. Make friends with one, you may make friends with them all. Here in Yonezawa, they eat a diet of hay, rice, straw, and corn. Tanaka-san is also using the manure for biofuel here. Between the domes, you can see the process taking place through these little windows. Anaerobic bacteria is added to the excrement. This digestion creating heat, making methane gas or biomethane. That's some magical poo. 
being able to harness this organic material to create biofuel removes greenhouse gases from the environment and creates renewable energy, a good investment. This is the biogas digestate turned into compost fertilizer for use to grow produce. It truly seems like nothing is wasted. あの、牛を飼ってる上で、あの、二酸化炭素を排出するとか、あと、その堆肥の問題だとか、いろいろその環境問題で、あの、騒がれている中で、地元で喜ばれるような牛を作り作っていきたいっていうか、そういうふうに